Hello, everybody. Take five of this recording. Anyway, this thing. You don't know why I'm here. You don't know what this thing is. It changes the music if you t- if you press A up it. Well, you see. Anyway, first things first. Talk to your mom every time you get a new party member. They get some dialogue. They're just a moral dialogue. Is oh, pretty new friend, someone new. Talk to him. We're, can't buy anything. Don't bother. Then we asked if you if you'll give Mar get try to give Marl to give him your her pendant. Say no. This place is the ten of horrors. Hate it. My recordings failed because of that place. I'm never going in there until I have to because it is eventually required for story purposes. Anyway, there's ten to forty and an eighty point game. Ten point game is three people. They they mix up. You gotta find one of them. If you find the correct one, you get that doll. 80 point game, there's monsters cl- closing in, and there's a blue light you gotta hit to keep Marl from going in a fire, and the monsters you gotta fight back. Once the monsters are in the cage, then then the, well, you win the game, and you get another cat. And those two cats can breed to make more cats. And also, and also, there is a, um, Got or a 40 point game which we're not doing until later because it's required for the story and you get more dialogue if you do it later on and excuse me and uh anytime you beat a game and you play it again you get cat food and I and I got some cat food and cat food keep your cat from running away you'll know what it is when you see it and what they're still sending oh 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 I remember uh, once you get Marl in your party, you can talk to this guy. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you get Marl in your party, he'll say, Luke is ready, go up and go. And then, you can, they'll be gone. Okay. And when she's getting candy, don't do anything. Do not do anything. Just sitting here, waiting for her to pick. And because of that, it'll affect the same thing later on that the other things have been affecting. Anyway, we finally get on with the story after two parts. And five retakes! Hmm. Super teleporter thing. There's Luca and her father tapping on some spectators. And let's talk to Luca. Oh, no one wants to use the tele- Oh, sure, sure, that'll be fun. Oh. Oh, I thought Mara was going to volunteer to use a telepod. Oh, well, I'll do it, I guess. Now, Luca, this isn't going to explode me or anything, is it? Why won't you answer me? Luca? Luca, th- th- this isn't going to hurt, is it? Oh, dear God. I- hey. It didn't hurt. Yay! And this was great! Two, four, six, eight. Chrono's crime was really great. Great, meaning large or immense. We use it in the rhetorical sense. Yay! And you talk to Marl and she wants to try. She wants to try! And now Luke is complimenting us on our getting this apparent hottie. I don't know why I did one like hottie. I'm apparently something now. I don't know what kind of ethnicity, stereotypical ethnicity I can do. Or whatever. Racism! I don't know. I'm not racist. What am I saying? I don't know. All systems on! Energy trend. What is that ominous music playing and sparkling? Oh, Marl's pendant. It's what? What in God's name is that? Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ is right, cast of Monty Python. Whoever it was said it. I don't know the exact actor in Monty Python who played it who played him
by the way, if I can't find a clip, because I probably won't, I might. I might be able to find a clip. I plan to include a little clip right there of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. You know that one part where King Arthur, they're doing something, and King Arthur's just like, JESUS CHRIST! It'll seem a little stupid if I actually end up finding a clip of it, but oh well. Let's go check on this pendantish thing. Wait, pendantish? Pendantish thing. It is a pendant! Duh, dummy! You stupid! What a fine lad you are, Chrono! Indeed! Hmm. I'm bracing myself. All systems are on! Power to full! Yeah! More power! Yes! Electricity! I have the power to do things going down a long and winding road. The long and winding road. Dun 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 dun. What the hell are these things? These crazy blue imps, dun 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 dun, they are much more aggressive than the Hitachis and the Avian Chaoses and whatever the other thing was. And they all look like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, I yawned just there. I'm just doing this late at night. Why aren't I moving? I should be moving. What was that noise? I'm scared, Mommy. Hold me. Blue imps. They have birds. Die, you imp. Yes, I am awesome. Treasure chest. We get a tonic. Another treasure chest. Ooh, power glove. Our first accessory that we actually found. Bandana. You will notice increase the speed by one. Power increase. Power glove increase the power by two. Gron's already got 12 speed, so obviously the power glove is a much better choice for him. They're playing kickball with the ball with a face. It appears to be a monster. A roly. Like roly poly -oly. I remember that show. Such great kid shows back in the day when I was your age. When I was your age, we... When I was your age, we walked through burning hot deserts each day! And we liked it! This is our first section of the game. Alone. That's just Chrono. Fighting things. Where are we? Ah, the truce in. Question mark. But a thousand AD appeared there before. What could this be? Megus's army. But but that war was four hundred years ago. Well, apparently the queen was missing, and now she's been found. Who is this man? 
Toma! Sure, I'm buying. I want to hear a story. Cider. I'm missing Queen. Hmm. Cathedral to the West. We ought to remember that. What? There's no Millennial Fair. Make... No! <laughs> um, of course! Who are you? Ten gold? No, I am perfect. I'm perfectly fine. There's no fairy. Where can I... Residence. Maybe some residence will help. Who's this guy? Bond to the blacksmith. Huh. Ah, okay then. Wait. Wait a second. Lean. Well, didn't our mom say something about that bell being called Lean's Bell? Hmm. Maybe they named the queen after the bell? May may maybe this maybe this is sometime in the future. It's the It's the year six hundred Maybe we are in the past Incredible We That was a time war I it's it is the title of a song from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Zen and Br the bridge is out. The bridge is out. Sir Cyrus. Hmm. Who is this Cyrus you speak of? There's the cathedral, it appears. Let's go through Guardia Forest in 600 AD. I wonder what's in here. Oh, green hips and rollies. Indus, you despicable creatures. Don't you throw dirt clops at me. Die early, epic slash of death. Ha ha, you got up at point blank range to kick me in the face and you missed. Yeah. Hmm. I probably should have cut that battle earlier on in this thing with the blue imps after we already fought them out. Oh well. Um, it, it's... It, it, it needs some commentary. And we got another power tab there. Let's use that thing on Chrono. Because he needs more attack power, obviously. Ooh, more power tab! No! Oh, just more enemies. I'll cut this out. I get Roly Riders! So, Rollies and Imps are two separate enemies that die in one hit. But when you form them together, they make Roly Riders. One enemy that dies in one hit. And gives more experience and tech points. I like these guys! So more convenient. And in the past, if you check this thing, that guy will drop, will come out and drop a shelter each and every time. Oh, it's a good idea to do that. But with this one, it is just more Roly Riders. I made a crucial discovery. Roly Riders hurt. And what are these guys? Blue Eaglets! I believe they can inflict the chaos status on you. Don't quote me on that. And the- whoa. They can inflict whatever the status that is. I think that might be slow. Yeah, probably s slow. Yeah, sorry for yawning again. More enthusiasm! The blue eaglets were those guys who were carrying the blue imps earlier, if I recall correctly. Which I think I do. Okay. Now we go up here. 
three roller riders, oh god. That battle was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Well, what is over here now? Uh, nothing. Just the box. Oh, wellies. Let's go over here. And we will enter Guardia Castle next time. But what will Chrono do in 600 AD? Will he ever get back to his own time? Where is Mo?